YouTube don't pay me enough, so I'm about to start dropping my cash app and my PayPal down below in the description so y'all can start sending me cash. You know what I'm saying? Send me a little something because I'm tired of wearing these clothes, recycling these clothes, and I need some more. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to do it like that, you feel me? How does Beanie look with this sweater? What up, welcome back to the channel. After the last video I did like this, a lot of people was asking for a part two. So here we are, what a part two, you know what I'm saying? A part two, just for you, you feel me? I wanted to do this video with my friends, have another dude in here and a female up in here to get like two different perspectives from a guy and a female, you know what I'm saying? So what I need y'all to do is get 500 likes on this video so I can get that, you know what I'm saying? I wanted it on the last video so it could be a part two for that, but we here with a part two and I'm still out of breath. So I'm about to answer some of the questions that I had left over from the last video and some new questions that I found online, you know what I'm saying, that might be a little interesting. When guys use the bathroom, does their dick touch the water? Um, I don't know, I'm guessing like you talking about when a nigga take a shit, you feel me? When a nigga on a taking a duty. Uh, for the most part, when a nigga using the bathroom like that, no a nigga dick not gonna touch the water unless like, you know, you probably like hard or like semi hard, then yeah. I had it a couple times where a nigga shit was touching the water and it's kinda like, that shit nasty because like, Nigga, you taking a shit? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta kinda hold your shit up a little bit while you're using the bathroom. But yeah, it has happened a couple times, but for the most part, um, no, your shit not just gonna touch the water, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, you know, if you, you know what I'm saying, using the bathroom like that, your shit limp, you know what I'm saying? Your shit not on the rock, you know what I'm saying? Your shit not even, you know, semi, you feel me? So for the most part, no, but sometimes, I don't know about for other niggas, but sometimes, yeah, it has like touched the water when it's like, and then you gotta kinda like either hold it up or like, Wait till your shit shrivel up. Does a girl body count matter? If just say like off jump, like you know what I'm saying, you dealing with a female and like y'all never really discussed that. And then later on down the line, you like, oh, what's your body count? And then she say something like 15, 20, you might look at her like a little like, poor. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Your shit what? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that do something to like a nigga confidence or like what, but like you don't be wanting to fuck with a girl that been around like, all over, for, but for the most part, I don't think a girl body count like really matter, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, that was really before your time. But this do matter though. Like if it's like more than three niggas that that nigga know, then yes, that's a problem. That is a serious problem because like, you don't want your girl to be with like, to have been with like niggas that you know, you know what I'm saying? Cause it look like she like, she like a pass around, you know what I'm saying? Nigga passing your girl around like a hot potato or something. So like, no, fuck no, you don't, you know, when it comes to a girl body count, it, it do matter, but it don't at the same time, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's like where that double standard shit come in at. Cause like a guy could have like a body count where it's like 35, 50, you know what I'm saying? Let a girl have a body count of seven, you know what I'm saying? Nigga like, oh no, seven? Nigga, seven people been in there? Seven? Goddamn. I'm halfway through the video and I'm still out of breath. Does it annoy guys when girls aren't ready to go somewhere? Fucking right, you feel me? Cause for the most part, y'all have a set time and everything. So right now it's two o'clock in the evening. You tell her, look, I'm gonna pick you up at 8.30, just be ready and we gonna go do this, you know what I'm saying? So she got six and a half hours, she know before, you know what I'm saying, it's time to go. She'll wait 30 minutes before it's time to go to start getting ready, you know what I'm saying? So you'll pull up and she not even ready. What happened to, I'm gonna stay ready so I don't have to get ready? What happened to that attitude? You go to pick the girl up and shit, now you gotta wait an extra two hours cause she not ready. But she been knowing about it, so fucking ready to annoy a nigga. You guys dislike PDA? Uh, I I think so, you know what I'm saying? For multiple reasons though, you feel me? One, the reason why I dislike PDA because I look at PDA as kind of childish, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be tonguing you down in the middle of the street full of people, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's, you know, we can say that for like home, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you trying to get like attention and shit and I don't really, I don't really be fucking with that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like that's just too much for the public, you feel me? Like, yeah, I might, be holding my girl hand, might keep my arm around, I might kiss her, you know, I might kiss on her cheek or something like that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna go overboard with her and try to, you know, damn near fucking in the middle of the street. Like, I feel like PDA is just like a little bit too much and it's kind of like childish, you know, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the type of shit you used to do in middle school, you know what I'm saying? You used to go to the movies, be all up on a girl, hugging her and shit, kissing, sucking all on her neck, you know what I'm saying? Tongue kissing that shit. You know, like middle school type shit. So, do guys feel a slight bit of sadness after masturbation? Uh, most of the time, a nigga that beat they meat, you feel me? Like, you'll beat your meat, you know what I'm saying? The whole time it's feeling good. You, you know what I'm saying? You stroking that thing, stroking that thing. Next thing you know, you just bust up. Like, you just sit there, like, you be like dead after. Ah! Uh!
though. Yeah, I think, you know, not all the time, you feel me? Because sometimes you really just need to get that shit off and you'll feel relieved or you'll feel tired. Sometimes you even feel sad. Like, why the fuck I just did that? I ain't even need to beat my meat today. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even need that today. I just beat my meat early. I ain't even need to do that again. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just do it, like, just to do it. So, like, you'll be like, I wouldn't say really, like, sad, but you'll be like, like, why I did that? Like, I ain't even need to do that for real. You feel me? So, does the size of a girl booty need to be fat to make them attractive? I feel like you know the answer to that. No, indeed. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got a lot of girls that's, like, slim, skinny, that don't have nothing at all. Whether it's, like, no ass, no titties, nothing at all. Has no ass at all. What is it? What is that shit? No ass at all. No ass at all. That's at all? That's no ass. No ass at all. Nassatal. Yeah. Nassatal. You know what I'm saying? Girl be Nassatal. She don't got no ass at all. You know what I'm saying? And she still look good. So I feel like yo ass. Bro, you know how many fucking. Bro, it's always a joke on Twitter how niggas be having baby mamas with the fattest ass and they hit his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they be hit with like two bricks or some shit. So, no, you know what I'm saying? Our ass don't make you attractive. Like, what? If, what do guys really want to do on a first date? I'm going to keep it G with you, bro. On a first date, really, you know, it depends on what kind of date it is. If a nigga really taking you on a date, that's what it is. Like, he really probably, he really probably trying to get to know you or trying to impress you to, like, do something. You know what I'm saying? But if you consider, like, a first date, a nigga asking you to come chill, what, what you think that mean? Nigga trying to beat them cheeks senseless. You know what I'm saying? Nigga trying to beat your cheeks like you stole something. You know what I'm saying? Nigga trying to get in them guts. You know what I'm saying? So, for the most part, I would niggas really want to do on a first date. Niggas really won't hit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna lie to you. And answer something like this, like in the last video, like sex on the first date. Yeah, like some niggas don't really like, I'm not gonna say they don't like sex on the first date, but if they have sex on the first date, they might look at that girl like she not wifey material, you know what I'm saying? Just because like, I ain't gonna lie, I'll look at it like, if I have sex on the first date, I'll be like, okay. So like, how many other niggas like she done done that with, you know what I'm saying? But that conversation might really just come up, so. Yeah, but what niggas really want to do on the first date, it depends on the date. If a nigga really trying to, like, take you out, yeah, he might really want to get to know you. If a nigga just, for the first time, and nigga trying to tell you to come chill at the crib, nigga trying to beat them cheeks. Do guys like a, a dominant or submissive girl in the bedroom? For the most part, I think niggas like to be dominant in the bedroom. Niggas like to, you know, feel like the nigga, you know what I'm saying? You know, apply pressure and shit, because you the, you the one fucking her. You don't want to get fucked, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, like, when a girl take over, and she, you know, sh she show that dominance and shit, and she start fucking you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like niggas like that too, but for the most part, niggas like when a girl is, like, submissive. But, you know, when a girl, like, take initiative and take over sometime, nigga just gonna lay back and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Niggas like that shit, too. Nigga like, ooh. Ooh, we got it. I don't like that. When you start fucking her, but she start fucking you back, you be like, Lord, no. No, huh? You get scared. Fuck. <laughs> How do guys feel about girls supposed to have naked pics on the internet? Niggas love that shit, you know what I'm saying? Until she become your girlfriend, then it become a problem, like, no, like, that shit gonna, that, that's crazy, though, because, you know what I'm saying, the shit that attract you, you don't want your girl to do that shit no more, you know what I'm saying, so your girl could, like, start off by posting shit like that on the internet, you get attracted to that shit, you shoot your shot, you get her, now nah, she can't post none of that shit no more, you know what I'm saying, so, it be on some shit, like, niggas like that shit until, like, they actually become, like, big girl, you know what I'm saying, or they start liking that girl, you know what I'm saying, then they don't like that shit no more, I wouldn't like that shit, you know what I'm saying, I don't want no niggas looking at my girl like that, you feel me, because they are already gonna be looking at you but then they're gonna be looking at you in a different light if you have naked on the internet you know what i'm saying so if the girl stays over and get her period on the sheets would you speak to her again of course you know what i'm saying like that shit like it's not like she like intentionally did that shit you feel me sometimes like you know you might slip up you know what i'm saying and it just might come like overnight and you don't know so it's not like she purposely did that shit you know what i'm saying so of course like nigga would speak to her again you feel me that's just like something like I, that's like what I spoke about like in the last video. Nigga just to make sure like she okay, make sure she good, you know what I'm saying? Tell her like it's not really that serious, you know what I'm saying? So she don't be overthinking and really just be going crazy in her head and thinking like, oh my God, he gonna never speak to me again because this happened, you know what I'm saying? Like it happens, it's normal, it's not that serious, you feel me? So like don't beat yourself up over. Is a girl being insecure turn off? 
Um, I wouldn't say it's a turn off, you know what I'm saying? Because with me, I really hate when like people really like beat themselves up or like they're really insecure about something. So like that's why like, a lot of times, like if you see like my catalog of videos or like my catalog of videos with my cousin, like it's a lot of things like trying to like uplift like people to make them feel like better about themselves and make them love themselves. So nah, it wouldn't be a turn off to like, you know, cause that person like insecure, like you I like with me, you know what I'm saying? I would probably try to like help, you know what I'm saying, that person, like if anything. But what becomes a turn off, like when you're dealing with an insecure person, even when you're trying to help them, like they like throw their insecurities on you, you know what I'm saying? And like try to like, I don't know, even like if you helping them, they like trying to bring you down with them, you know what I'm saying? Like so it, it kind of be like it becomes a challenge, like when it's like they fighting against you, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't say like that becomes a turn up, but it becomes a challenge, you feel me? Cause like you be trying to help and uplift them, but like they'll still be trying to What's the first thing guys notice in a girl? Dead ass. That's it. Dead, dead ass. You know what I'm saying? It depend on legit. It depend on what angle we see the girl from. But for the most part, it'll be dead ass. From the front, it's her face, her body, then her outfit. You feel me? Then if I'm seeing her from the back, it's her ass, probably her hairstyle, then her outfit. Gotta be her face or her ass, like with any nigga. That's how it's gonna be. I need y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all think about these questions too. Give me y'all opinion on these questions and let me know what y'all think about them. Why y'all what y'all think about my response? You feel me? Does it sink or float? Sink or float? Sink or float? Girl, there's not no boat. This ain't no Titanic. I just know it's gone. Sink on your throat. Oh. Um, I don't know, nigga. I don't take baths, nigga. I don't take. Damn, that's. I sound like oh shit. I gotta cut that out. I sound like summer, summer Walker. God damn. I don't take baths. You got me. Nah, real life though. Uh, I take showers all the time, so I don't really know. But I feel like if anything, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's gonna float. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. It just, I don't know. You sound like your shit gonna be shrimp if, if you say that. But that's that's the real. You feel me? It just sounds like your shit gonna be shrimp if you say it's float, but I think that's really like what it do, you feel me? Your shit float because it's not like that bitch got a brick in it or something and your shit just, you know how heavy your shit gotta be the sink, nigga? You know, nigga, what? Sink, bro, what? S sink, put your fucking sink. S sink, your shit don't, your shit can't sink. Nigga shit do that. Sink. People should do. You should sink in a tub. What? What do guys find attractive other than looks in like a female? Like they drive to do something. You feel me? Or like a girl that's like educated. You feel me? Or like with me, like a girl, like a girl that could do stuff on her own and she don't always like need you. You know what I'm saying? Like a girl that be like, I don't not not on no city girl shit. Like I don't need it, nigga. I don't need it, nigga. I I don't need it, nigga. I don't need it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But like, basically, on that type of shit, you feel me? Like, she don't like. Basically, like, what would what I do if like you wasn't here type of shit? You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that, like, cause like that's really how you gotta think. Like, what would you do if I'm not here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or you don't have like a nigga around. Like, what would you do? You feel me? So like, a girl that could really be like independent, that is really attractive. Like, that's so attractive. A girl that really like kind of like have a direction of like what she want, that's attractive as well. Girl with a sense of humor, bro. Like if you have a sense of humor, you know what I'm saying? And we could be joked out together, like, bro, I'm gonna be so attracted to you, you know what I'm saying? Cause like we really could like be laughing together, be joked out about like shit, you know what I'm saying? Like some some people don't have a sense of humor, so it's like kind of hard to like get along with them, you know what I'm saying? Does it hurt when a guy penis bends? Oh! What you think? Depends on like, if your shit really hard and then like your shit just like, ah, fucking right, that shit gonna hurt. But like if your shit like semi and then your shit been like, no. Like, cause it's like a little bit hard, but it's not really like fully hard, you know what I'm saying? So like, if your shit been on something, like it don't really like hurt like that, but it can hurt. But for the most part, nah, it don't, you know what I'm saying? And you really gotta like, be really applying pressure, you know what I'm saying? And really like do some shit to really, you know, for your shit to really been like that. Vaginas feel like. Oh, um, oh. Um, it depends on what time, what like, at what point you feel in a vagina. Cause if you feel in a vagina and she dried on there, it's gonna feel like a pig lip. You know what I'm saying? Like you ever feel the pig lip? 
and it like dried out, that's what it's gonna feel like. And it got little lips on it and shit, you feel me? What do you guys think about when they're about to nut? Are you really trying to get your head off of like, yeah, nigga, you about to nut? But sometimes that shit just be feeling so good, you be like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to let it go, you feel me? But if you really trying to let that shit like last long and you trying to put some thoughts in your head, you gonna try to think about anything under the sun to get your head off of that nut because it's feeling too good. You gonna try to think about some dumb shit like, you know, probably like rockets or like space. So like something that's just so dumb to get your head off of like that moment, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna lie, I really try to think about anything stupid like, oh, I should buy some shoes or like just anything to try to get my mind off of that moment because like if I think about anything, I think about her, I think about what we doing right now, or I just think about that moment and actually being that moment and not like instant. I gotta get my head off of this, you feel me? Like. Damn, I used to get my ass bust when I was four years old. Like, you know, just like, just like anything like dumb, you feel me? Damn, bro, my camera about to die again. What I need y'all to do is like this video, 500 likes, and I'm gonna do another video like this with two other people in here, a guy and a female. You know what I'm saying? Run them comments up right now. I'm posting another video tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to answer some more questions. Hope. I said, I hope you enjoyed it already. But anyways, go look at the other videos that I posted. I got five new videos out right now. This makes six, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep it going. Gang.